Hi guys, are you here with Nanit for Blender? In this one, we're going to be talking about game assets. I'm going to show you possibly the most important thing that you need to keep in mind when you're creating game assets. So when you're creating a complex game asset, this, by the way, is the rifle from uh, the chorus we just released recently. Uh, it's a hard surface game asset 2.0. Uh, the course is available right now and uh, there are some insane early bird bonuses including our in-house made add-on in co-op with proxy from team c and also the other incredible bonuses added to the package so uh, check the links in the video description uh, the early bird is still on so don't miss it so anyway you know when you create something more complex like so let's say you know this kind of a rifle which is not super complex but it's a bit more complex than a simple prop for a game you're going to be creating some complex shapes you're going to have a lot of elements and you need some freedom for modeling but at the same time you need to remember about one important thing that you will be needing to decimate that mesh which means reduce the poly count to something a bit more manageable create a low poly and then bake the details of the high poly to the low poly so if you look here in the statistics we can see that our high poly is about 470,000 triangles and this gun was reduced to i think about 37k or something like that uh, by josh in the course and that was with mid poly bevels which means with one segmented bevel without the bevels it would be something about probably i don't know 10k maybe 12k right so quite a reduction from 470k but in order to be able to do that you need to remember about one very important thing when you're modeling something and you're using bevels like you know like i was using bevels here and here and when you use bevels right you will be most likely reducing the density of geometry here. Now, if you don't want to go ahead and, you know, spend ages on retopologizing, which is completely unnecessary in this case, what you want to do is you want to remember how to run bevels on the mesh. So there's a very specific way of creating bevels, and it's really simple. And all you need to remember is to create a bevel that has an even number of segment and an even number of edges. Now, what does it mean? Uh, in short, uh, let me just grab a cube and I'm going to move it in here. And when I'm going to create a bevel here on the edge, so I'm going to grab an edge and with Control B, I'll create a chamfer and I scroll my mouse and you can see that on the bottom, okay, here, you have a number seven, right? Or eight, nine, ten, etc. So you're creating more and more segments. So what you need to do is you need to make sure that every single bevel that you're going to apply to your mesh has even number of segments and uneven number of edges. So if you're going to have six segments like here, you're going to have seven edges, right? Now, the reason being is that when you want to, um, you know, decimate this, this uh, bevel, which means you want to reduce the uh, resolution by two, you do not want to move these edges, okay? These supporting edges, okay? So I'm going to create another bevel here. It's going to be five segments and I'll show you the difference, okay? So this one is six and this one is five. Now with six segments, what I can do, I can select every second edge in the middle and I can remove them. So I can press X and dissolve them, right? And this will reduce to the resolution of the bevel, but it will not move these supporting edges of the bevel because they hold these flat surfaces here, okay? Now in this case, it's impossible because um, I got, you know, even number of segments i can't do that and if i remove this edge here right look what happens to this face it's gonna shift right boom see that the angle of the face it's not 90 degrees anymore okay this face has shifted and you can see that this is not you know not straight anymore so it's shifted to to the right whereas this face you know hasn't moved right so if i go back in time you see that these two faces okay the one on the top they do not move and that's exactly what you want from your bevels to do so when you're going to create a bevel that says you know even number of uh, segments and uneven number of edges you can very easily go here uh, later on and simply select these uh, uh, these edges and remove them and you can do the same thing with every single bevel on your mesh and this is how uh, you should be uh, creating your high poly so when you're going to be decimating to um, you know to to low poly it's going to be really easy 
to do that and you get much more control over your mesh all right like i said guys the course is still available it's fantastic there is a ton of things to be learned the incredible uh, bonuses right now we have a game asset course 1.0 added for free a uv unwrapping course added for free and there is a in-house like i said add-on developed by uh, blender bros and proxy and so we have added it for free as well and it's only going to be available with this uh, early bird period also check out the upsells because we have a fantastic offer on hard ops and design course if you bundle it up with these courses you may have a chance to grab another 50 percent off so check them out thanks for watching and see you in the next one